April 10th, 2016. Here is your latest church news from Tradcat Night. This piece of news has been popping up not only on alternative news websites, but it has gone mainstream. Blessed Virgin Mary statue in a Fresno house is being called a miracle. Now reporting out of uh, Fresno, we have a statue of the Virgin Mary in, in Fresno appearing, appears to be weeping. The family who owns this statue calls it a miracle and said it's been happening now for quite some time. To the faithful, Maria Cardenas said the statue of the Virgin Mary is a blessing. Tears seem to well up in her right eye and stream down from her face to her chin. Cardina said it was a beautiful that it's beautiful the way she looks right now. Every tear, she said, is nothing short of a miracle. So she collects them in a glass and shares them with those who find their way to this home. A lot of people come in, and she said they can't believe it, uh, but they come there with faith. Um, one of her neighbors, Richard Quintana, said, I wanted to see for myself, and apparently he did so. Uh, Cardenas said, I don't understand why she's doing it, but it is something good. She said the statue was a Mother's Day gift she received 10 years ago, almost to the day, but it didn't start weeping, she said, until about a year ago. Excuse me, a year and a half ago when her cousin, Jesse Lopez, was murdered. Sometimes the statue doesn't cry for weeks or months, Cardena says, but when she starts, she will cry again. We've had priests come from all over to look at her, and they all say it's a miracle. At this house, the Virgin Mary statue weeps, or so it seems, for anyone to see, not just the faithful. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to rain on anyone's parade. I'm not sure if the diocese has investigated this thoroughly or not. Uh, however, we do know in these end times we have to be very careful of false miracles. Uh, I'm not saying that definitively this is. All that I can tell you, if you go on the New Ages website, uh, Maitreya is said to be behind a lot of these weeping statues. There was one down in Georgia. Uh, I believe one down in India recently, Medjugorje, by the way, Maitreya claims. So what I would be curious is if there's any sort of message attached to this so we can verify that this truly is the Blessed Virgin Mary. I'm not sure that there will be. Uh, however, we just have to be very careful. We have to know and understand that the Vatican II faith is not the Catholic faith, and we have to be very careful as Catholics uh, in these times, I believe it was Our Lady at La Salette that said there would be false signs and, and wonders everywhere that would deceive a lot of people, a lot of prodigies, because the true faith is gone. So again, I'm not saying definitively this this is a false miracle. All we need to know, ladies and gentlemen, is to keep the faith. Assuredly, in general, the Blessed Virgin Mary is assuredly weeping. She is, assuredly is in sorrow, seeing so many souls fall into hell as was shown to the three saintly children uh, at Fatima. She weeps because the church has been infiltrated and and churchmen are leading souls astray. And soon we will have the formal uh, New Age religion take center in Rome. So, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you subscribe to Tradcat Night for all of the latest church news, conciliar church news, the latest as we head towards the great chastisements foretold at Fatima, and the third secret of Fatima primarily, which was a warning of Vatican II and this coming formal New Age religion, the formal schism in Rome. And so visit tradcatnight.blogspot.com. If you can, please uh, make a donation. Uh, again, it's not for personal income. It goes directly into the pot, so to speak, and is reinvested so that Tradcat Night, Tradcat Night can become more visible in this information war and that's truly what this is we're up against the novus ordo sites who are trying to say vatican II is orthodox and we keep uh, we keep moving in the wrong direction so to speak there's no question the false prophet yeshua ben joseph is on the near horizon we can look for uh, benedict the 16th the true pope to flee rome here soon anti-pope francis will quote unquote resign and, and probably just bail out into argentina and then things get really uh, strange. So, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, be sure to subscribe to Tradcat Night. Stay safe. God bless.